Hello, my name's Kelly Lemon, and this is Property Investor News, and we're here at the Excel Centre. I'm here with Andrew. Andrew, thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure. Tell us a bit about your company and what you do. We describe ourselves as a property company. A state agency is a part of what we do, uh, an increasingly big part, but predominantly we, we deal with investors from start to finish. And how are you finding the market now that we've had so many changes with stamp duty coming, you know, that, that window coming to an end, yeah. tax changes? What are you seeing on the ground? Uh, there was an absolute madhouse in our office for the three weeks leading up to uh, the end of the stamp duty changeover. Uh, that's probably reflected across all of the estate agency business. Uh, our sales figures were up by probably 400% for two months, a normal increase in sales. Uh, we've seen a marked decrease in inquiries now. I think people who were going to buy have sort of forward bought in the first quarter of the year. The changes, I personally, is a bit controversial maybe in this environment, but I've got no problem with the stamp duty change of 3% to target investors to encourage home ownership. It's not nice, nobody wants it, but I can live with that. What I've got a difficulty with is the Section 24 of the Finance Act changes. Uh, I think there's a big problem with that, and I certainly be fighting to, to overturn that policy. Uh, as far as other investors are concerned, people are aware of the changes now. The, the word has got out there, uh, particularly the Section 24 stuff. Uh, but we haven't seen a drop off in interest. People still think that property is, is a good place to, to park some money. Uh, the sort of yields we're able to give people are still attractive, even the, the new revised tax climate. So do you see this being um, a short-term blip or do you think this will actually change some of the fundamentals in the market? I'm not sure there's been a paradigm change that George Osmond has been aiming for. Certainly the, the, the tax burden on landlords is substantially higher or will be higher uh, post-2020. Um, I can't give you a firm answer on that. I'm still waiting to see how the thing pans out. Looking at the figures around today and the football today, we're still quite positive about the market. At the end of the day, where else are you going to put your hard-earned savings? You stick it in the bank and earn one, maybe one and a quarter percent if you're lucky. If you take a chance to buy Greek government bonds, it might give you five or six percent if you're lucky, but no guarantees for your money back. Or go for the bricks and mortar option. Uh, we still see properties good buy. On a personal level, I'm still buying myself, so that's obviously uh, it's a good sign. Do you are you seeing a difference in the type of customer you're attracting, or do you think you'll see a difference in the type of customer you're attracting post these changes? Mm, I think the less professional landlord is going to be less prevalent in the future. Uh, we're certainly encouraging all our, our less experienced people uh, ready to go on a learning course. I think over the last maybe 10 or 15 years, probably has been seen as an easy buy, uh, easy way to make money, and that's possibly been true in some quarters. Now I think you need to be a bit more professional. You need to do your maths more carefully to make sure you get a good return on your money. But returns are still available. And what sort of trends are you seeing? Are you seeing any sort of change in trends? Are you seeing more investors looking at different types of projects, um, turning more to development, or are you still getting clients looking for a vanilla type investment? Uh, yield. They're always chasing yield. Uh, any way you can achieve that is, is a good deal. Whether it's uh, buying a rundown property, doing some renovation works to add value, that's still a, a very big part of our market, uh, through to new builds with uh, low buy-in values and, and higher yields. We're seeing a lot of people, uh, an increasing number of people coming to our neck of the woods, the northwest come from the southeast because the returns here aren't as good as they used to be. Um, I was speaking to a gentleman just before uh, you came over. We can do a deal for him today that'll give him 22% return on his money. Uh, most of the stuff we're doing is, is 13 to 35% return on investment. At those sort of figures, even with the new tax position, it's still an attractive buy. I think the days of easy money from buy to let and flipping properties is probably gone. Uh, particularly with the increased uh, stamp duty, it's quite difficult now to make a good profit from buying new build and flipping it either prior to or what just post completion. And in terms of your area, you're based in Liverpool? Yes, uh, Liverpool and Wirral. And how are you finding, because that's an area that's attracted quite a lot of investment. Yes, very much so. Uh, one of the reasons we're down here, you can see from a stand, we're not just pushing what we do, we're trying to improve the image of the area as a whole. Um, we seem jokingly intimated on the two lectures that we've given down here about the Derek Hatton days and Middleton tendency, and that's some people's perception of, of Merseyside as a whole. Uh, we're trying to prove people that's no longer the case. There's some massive inward investment happening in our area. It's billions of pounds, tens of billions of pounds coming into our local area, and it will create a sea change in the investment landscape for people. We're trying to get the word out there of what's happening uh, and encourage people to take a second look at Merseyside particularly. I think they'll be surprised what they find. It's a very nice place to live. There's some excellent business opportunities, uh, and from the property investment perspective, it's giving some of the best returns in the UK. 
What sort of challenges do you see in the short and long term in the actual area that you're based? Short term challenges, uh, I think the, the upset caused by George Osborne's announcement of tax changes is the biggest hurdle we've had to face in the last while. Medium to longer term, um, the Brexit issue is playing quite heavily on people's mind. I know it's a short term issue, but if we vote for withdrawal, the long term ramifications of that have yet to be worked out. Nobody knows what the investment landscape is going to be like after that. Uh, beyond that, uh, we're rather in the hands of the government of the macroeconomic climate. Um, it depends what happens to the economy, and that reflects property values. Uh, if there's a restriction on visa entry to the UK, will the population growth figures reflect what the predictions are currently? Uh, I think that's all to be worked out, and there's a lot of uncertainty in the market. Having said that, looking around today, that hasn't affected people's investment plans. We're still seeing a lot of people come to the stand, a lot of serious inquiries, and we see that people are still willing to spend some money on property investment. And are you surprised by that, with, with so much uncertainty? Uh, we're encouraging novice landlords to take a step back. Uh, there are, looking around this particular show, some serious investors. Uh, they know what they're doing. They're aware of the ramifications of the changes. Um, and uh, despite the uncertainty, people are still investing. I wasn't sure what I was going to find when I came here. This is our first show. Um, we're taking a stand right by the door. We weren't sure of the right location, the sort of investor profile coming through the doors. We've been pleasantly surprised. Uh, we still see there's an appetite for property investment. Uh, and we still see there's a lot of money being poured into the business. Brilliant. Andrew, thank you very much for, our, for your time. Pleasure. We appreciate it. I'm glad you had a good first show at Excel. Thank you very much. My name's Kelly Lemon. This is Property Investor News. And uh, here we are at the Excel Centre.